The seasons of year nine represent a new way to reinforce the tactical shooter we all know and love. For year nine, we have two new operators and we're revisiting old operators also. We want to give them a second life, really bringing up, up a notch the same way that we did with Lord Tachenka. It all starts with year nine, season one, Deimos is joining the fray. In the season two, this is the first time we're introducing our new operator remaster and it starts with something special. It's the recruit. We're not introducing one operator, but two operators free for every player in the game. And also, when you get the battle pass, you'll receive an operator voucher. Season three, we'll be going to Greece with a new operator for Siege. And finally, season four, which introduces our second remastered operator. I think it's everybody's favorite American who needs an update. For the player protection cell, the number one priority is very clear. Siege is a competitive game, which means that there is no room for cheaters in it. Earlier last year, we released Mousetrap, and there was a lot of success with this new technology. We are working on making sure that there are less circumventions for the tech, and that we will continually reinforce it throughout the rest of the year. QB was another technology that we introduced last year, and we do know more support is needed which means improving detection models and reinforcing it with better encryption. This year, we're rolling out improvements to banning based on statistics and data, making sure that we can tackle these subjects a lot faster and apply it much more broadly to the entire Siege population. When it comes to specifically our PC players, we will be introducing new technology that is dedicated to PC bans, making it harder for cheaters to get back into the game. When it comes to toxicity, one of our biggest features will be the reputation system. We're bringing further developments this year, making sure that it can go online officially and ensuring that you can trust the system based on the feedback that you've given us. On top of all of this, we'll make sure that the mouse trap detections will plug into the reputation system as well. Toxic text chat. We will be making improvements there as well. We'll be introducing automated machine learning text detection that will reduce the amount of toxicity that you'll see in the chat. We promise to introduce more communications on the topic of anti-cheat more regularly, making sure that we communicate to you every two months. Going into year nine, we're refocusing our balancing philosophy around four primary targets. First and foremost, breaking the run and gun meta. Siege is all about that fantastic gunplay and that great strategy and utility use. And we wanna make sure that's married together and always has a role in every round of Siege. Number two, we're reinforcing our attacker lineup. And third, a very important one, is better identifying the points of frustration for you, the community. And last but not least, communication. We wanna communicate more transparently and be more proactive with how we communicate to you, the community, as we listen to your feedback. We're starting year nine strong with going after that run and gun meta with an ADS adjustment and final attachment overhaul that completes the package we started some time ago. There'll also be a weapon class update for the LMGs. They've been in timeout and we're letting them come back out to play. And to further enhance our attacker lineup, we're actually going to be looking at the other side, our defenders. In fact, the real powerhouses out there. This is Azami, Solus, and Fenrir. And that's just scratching the surface. There's plenty more updates coming throughout the rest of the year. Siege isn't like any other shooter out there. We know that and you know that. It's important for us to embrace that in its full capacity and make sure that we're always moving towards that intended gameplay, which is the tactical, strategic, team play based moment to moment action that we all love. When it comes to player comfort in a game like Siege, it comes down to two things. One is having more control over how you want to play the game, and the other is making sure that we celebrate achievement in the game itself. Early in the year, when we're talking about long-term progression, we'll be introducing a feature that many of you have been asking for a long time. We call it the locker. This is a place where you can sort all of your inventory. Previs for us is actually a long-term journey in year nine. 
We're starting with robo gadgets, then in season two, we'll be looking at drones, and then further on in the year, we'll be looking at more deployable gadgets. It was very important that this feature does not lower the skill ceiling. This is a way that you can be confident in your gameplay, and for everybody who wants that kind of customization, this is a completely optional system that you can turn off if you don't want to interact with it. In season three, we're introducing two meaningful things for long-term progression. The first is badges. This is a way for you to celebrate the hard-earned achievements and challenges that you accomplish in the game of Siege. The other place for long-term progression is a home where you can track all of this, the career page. This is a place where you can track performance, your stats, the badges that you equip, and everything else that has to do with your career in the competitive game of Siege. And also, we're letting you jump into the shooting range while you're matchmaking. In season four, we're trying to ensure the best possible experience when it comes to the matchmaking algorithm. We're also working on an update to crossplay, allowing console players to play with their PC friends. You can opt into this experience if you want to play inside of the PC pool. So we'll be evolving this over the course of year nine. This year, we really want to focus on following up on our promise to bring the best training tools to Siege. That's why we're really going to be focusing on all of the players, making sure they have the training tools they need to be able to execute whatever strategy they intend. We're really happy with the reception of Versus AI Playlist. And that's why we want to follow it up strong in Season 1 with five new maps, new Defender AIs, and being able to play more attackers as well. And we're not stopping there, we're bringing new content in Season 2 and Season 3 as well. On top of that, we're also delivering the AI Attacking Playlist. That means for the first time, you'll be able to play defense and attack in an AI match. Expect AI attackers to drone, to clear roamers, and plant on site. We think this will be a great way to bring your friends into Siege. We know that map knowledge is really important. And that is why we're bringing new maps in Season 1, but also Season 2 and Season 3 as well. Map knowledge isn't the only skill you need to become a champion. And while the shooting range is a great place to warm up your aim, it's not the same as navigating through maps and clearing targets. That's why we're bringing a big update to Target Drill, where you can play for over 60 minutes with targets in every room. We have a lot of quality of life improvements coming in this update also. You can turn on headshots only, have pre-made destruction, or even turn on a mini HUD. We're also bringing damage reporting. So as you clear a room, you can see how much damage you've taken, and then you can actually know whether or not you cleared that room efficiently or not. In season three, we're bringing the drone drill to the map training playlist. Intel is king, and we know that finding a good hiding spot could be the difference between a win and a loss. Also in Season 3, we have a new cover mode coming to the aiming lane within the shooting range. It's a great opportunity to test with a smaller target as the target dummy takes position behind cover. In Year 9, we're not just building onboarding tools, but rather the future of training to help our current players improve their skills to perform at their best. Right now, we're aiming to launch the feature in Season 2. The philosophy behind the marketplace is that we want to make sure that the feature is polished, functional, and as secure as possible. So this means that the beta is going to be running up until we feel that the feature is up to your standard and up to our standards. So for you, this means that you can still sign in through the QR code or through our website. And you can still give us your feedback in order to build this platform together. We will be finalizing the maps within Quick Match 2.0, bringing the entire map roster to Quick Match. Standard will be getting new filtering so you can choose between ranked, all maps, or only the non-ranked maps as well. Within ranked, we're bringing exclusive cosmetics that you can earn every season. Siege Cup is a brand new time-gated tournament that happens every two weeks. Participation within the Siege Cup provides specific rewards, so make sure you grab your friends, squad up, Register your team, and we all know that feeling. At the end of the match, when your heart is pumping, you just need to close it out. There's going to be no other feeling like the Siege Cup. Just a few weeks ago, 
we have announced some of the changes coming to Blast R6 in season 2024 and revealed the revamped point system to qualify to the 6th Invitational, which now puts more emphasis on team's results at the majors. And today, I'm happy to reveal one more key change. This season, we are bringing back the 6th Invitational's last chance qualifiers. We will provide more details on their formats later this year. The first major of season 2024 will be hosted in Manchester. We're excited to host the very first major for Siege in the UK, and what better city than Manchester where we know the crowd will create an unforgettable atmosphere for the teams up on stage. In November, we will head to Montreal, home of the Rainbow Six Siege production team. Montreal holds a special place in our hearts, and we're excited to be back. After Sao Paulo this year, we will explore fresh locations in 2025. The Six Invitational will travel to the United States. We've seen how passionate and intense the NA community can be during Major. So we can't wait to bring them the Six Invitational. Year 9 is an important one for us. The entire Siege team is working extremely hard to deliver improvements to the game and bring new updates that puts a focus on tactical gameplay, fun and fair matches, and making sure that every operator has something to offer. We said Siege would be here for 10 years, and then we said it would be around for 10 more. As the end of year nine marks the 10th anniversary of Siege, we'll be sharing our plans for that future, and we'll be making damn sure that Siege remains the pinnacle of strategic PVP experiences. Thank you so much.